everybody, I want to wheeze them here. It is Sunday night about 10 o'clock, uh, Sunday, July 16th actually. So, gonna do something a little bit different here. And I mentioned it, I can't even remember in what video. Uh, life has been nuts here the last about month or so for me. Uh, I think there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm hoping maybe by like middle of next week, maybe the end of next week. Uh, things slow down and return to some level of normalcy uh, where we can hopefully have two videos a day most days instead of just one and uh, progress a little quicker through some of the games we're currently playing. Uh, start new projects, things along those lines. But uh, what I do when I have to go to town and pick up groceries and food so I can actually eat and uh, my free time, have my one meal a day basically. Uh, I'm still in pursuit of Robo, the Lost Imaginite Mines, and Standard Chompy Mage. So, uh, these are available overseas in Australia. They should have been here already. They're not. A lot of people are panicking and importing. Honestly, if you can get a decent price, it's not a bad option. Me, I'm thrifty. Uh, I'm fine with the risk if it's in the cards that Activision can't get them here for whatever reason. Uh, that's on them, that's their loss. It's money that stays in my pocket. Uh, sadly, Lost Imaginite Mines is the level I was the most excited for, so what I do, uh, I'm not too far, I'm in Texas, so you know, GameStop, uh, for example, typically would get stuff out this direction quicker since their hub is in Grapevine. But I always try to remain optimistic. I go in and you check on the forums and you check your emails and DMs and all that stuff and you always hope like, hey man, heads up, just found this at Target or Best Buy coming through. Wow, Walmart, who'd have thought it? It never happens. <laughs> and so I still like to go out there, be proactive, and hopefully track down Lost Imaginite Mines, Robo, uh, Chompy Mage, and I still look for variants, you know, um, not only in Imaginators, but in previous series as Toys R Us uh, and other retailers bring out their back stock and just constantly keep the shelves flooded with cheap supplies. So, uh, sadly, that is not what we have here, but it is something that I found when I was looking, uh, and the price was fantastic. Now, to my credit, I tried Toys R Us at a 2 for 15 on traps in store. I tried to pick up their special ones with the comic. They're like gold. They're standard size, but they're all gold and they have a comic book with them. They're MSRP according to my store where they were all shelved in huge quantities that have not sold. It was $9.99. They should have been on sale two for 15. They wouldn't honor the price. So again, uh, I could get mad. I could throw a fit. I could demand a manager. I could just walk out with $15 in my pocket. And that's what I did. And then I bought two chicken fajitas with queso on the way home. Uh, and finally, I washed my truck that night, too. It was amazing. Uh, nonetheless, though, this was something that I've wanted to pick up for a very, very long time. I felt like it was overpriced to begin with, and I've waited. I think I've seen it at this price before. I don't know that I've seen it lower. But what concerns me, this is Nintendo, so you can probably guess what it is. I at least have a general idea of the product. But what concerns me is if it gets phased out, if they don't ever bring them back, this is the type of thing that I could see being highly collectible in the future. And more importantly than that, I would like to actually utilize these in the game, assuming I ever get free time to do so. So, I asked people to guess. No one did. And I have to say, I love this sack from Toys R Us. Uh, this is their standard affair stuff. Sort of like a sublime green. Uh, it's very cute. But... I'll descend it from the top down for dramatics. And man, this thing is dusty now that I see it in the light here. Dun, 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 dun. So we know it's Amiibo. Uh, based on the width here, you can probably guess it's a three pack or something special. I was thinking some of you might have thought it was like a camo igniter tornado. It's, it's the same profile as the Skylanders triple pack from the glory days. Let's just get it over with. Oh, did you see it? Can you see it? Can you guess? It's... Me, me Brawler, Me Gunner, Me Sword Fighter Triple Pack. This isn't for everyone. What's If this, you know with Imaginators, when you could create your own Imaginator and have it 3D printed, if Nintendo did that, oh snap. I mean, the revenue that would bring forth to create your Me, even in pre-designated poses like this, uh, Brawler, Gunner, or Sword Fighter, it would be insane. Let people put their face on it, color coordinate it with their favorite color. Oh my goodness. That would just be a cash cow for Nintendo. But I always thought these were cool. I think when they came out, they were like 35 bucks for the triple pack, which was just nuts. Uh, it normalized a little bit. I think it's come down to, what, 24 29 
somewhere in there, 25 or 30 bucks basically, which I still think is too high. 19.99 I think is pushing it in all honesty. 14.99, that's when I come in and I'm like, "Hey, that's kind of like liquidation prices almost. Wonder if I should bite the bullet now, pick these up, have them use them in the future and be happy that I didn't wait." Cuz this is a deal. If these if that is what happens, if these do cease to be produced, they don't do any more production runs, they think it's run its course. There will be people that didn't pick the game up yet, there will be people that want them later, there will be people that sold them and want them back, and there will be people sitting on the available stock, scalping them on eBay and Amazon. And I'm not someone that would cave in and buy that, so that means I would do without, which would be fine. But for $14.99, I mean, that's basically $15, bucks, 5 per Amiibo. I'm pretty cool with that. So, uh, And mainly for the fact, these are so unique. Boo was the first glow-in-the-dark. Uh, these are from the original line of Amiibo, the Super Smash Bros. But it's just the fact that it's a me uh, that kind of adds to that collectible aura, if you will. So uh, I'm pretty stoked about it. But uh, once again, there is all the artwork. Hopefully you can see it well. We will flip it over. And again, I don't expect this to be updated for the Switch, but uh, the Wii U, that's your NFC touchpoint. If you've got a new Nintendo 3DS, which they've ceased production of, uh, Japan, uh, Europe, and in America now, fear not, though, you still got the XLs, which, in my opinion, at the price points, that's... I would love to pick one up if money was not an issue. I'm still rocking the original Nintendo 3DS when it was brand new, meaning it doesn't have the NFC pad, so I have to use the little round disc... And hey, uh, it is what it is. But uh, the cool thing, these are compatible with both the 3DS and the Wii U version of the game. Uh, you can take them all the way up to level 50. You can store your custom move sets. In fact, the box probably exchanges. Uh, explains it, I should say. Supercharge your gameplay, collect, customize, and complete. Compete, I should say. Uh, you can max them out to level 50. And you can battle with Amiibo in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS as friends or foes Amiibo join the battle. So, got some cool artwork here. You can kind of see the flurry of fists. Uh, you've got me Gunner taking down me Brawler there with I'm not sure what sword fighter's checking out. It looks like I guess Captain Falcon must be coming in. Uh, and then here you've got the sword fighter coming in, taking out Little Mac. Uh, no love for the Brawlers apparently, but... That's that. That's pretty much all there is to see here now. In a perfect world, Nintendo wouldn't have little foil caps underneath these bases, and the NFC would read, you could keep these sealed, you could use them in the game, you could put them back on your shelf, hang them on your wall, bring them back to the game, but you can't because Nintendo, of course. So, uh, I just had to change batteries. The set I went to after that was dead, even though it came right out of a charger, and now these that are brand new that were just charged are flashed. Energizer, your rechargeable batteries suck, and you should be ashamed for putting them on the market. Years ago, uh, Rayovac's rechargeable batteries, I ran the snot out of those for years, until it got to the point that they stunk when you put them on the charger, and the lifespan went down. And uh, I couldn't find them again, so I went to... Uh, oh, those are fancy little foil covers. I uh, went to Energizer, I mean, I have good luck with their standard batteries. These suck. Uh, I really need to pick up, I guess, back in the day I always had lithium-ion cameras. It was like little slim cannons is what I always ran. Uh, and then you know, sometime around college I was dating a girl and one year she gave me this camera. And the reason I still use it is because it's got really good zoom, which doesn't really mean anything here. But like if you go to a football game or whatever it may be, a bird, you can zoom in and the zoom is fantastic on this thing. And she thought it was a selling point that it was had two AA batteries, and uh, no, not so much, but hey, uh, it is what it is. So that is the packaging sans the Amiibo there. And again, the good news is you can take your time, you can do this articulately, you can come in, you can peel that foil away, you can snap the plastic back together, put this back and seal it, and then reuse it, but frankly... That's ridiculous to me. Uh, I really wish Nintendo would just stop with this nonsense, but these are the old school ones. As we've progressed, they've gotten less and less reflective. I don't know if anyone keeps tabs on this, but um, the first ever Amiibos I opened up, Wii Fit Trainer, Villager, I got them day one. I didn't know they were going to be super rare, uh, but they had this like highly reflective foil. And then the newest ones I've had, which is like the Breath of the Wild series and some of the Super Mario series, it's more of a dull foil, so kind of a throwback here. And again, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a layer 
I mean a thick layer of dust on the top of that steel. Most likely these have been sitting around Toys R Us for quite some time. Um, typically you want to be careful when you take these out, but it looks like Nintendo's done a good job. Again, their packaging is pretty legit. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's going to be anything that we would hit. Oh, that was smooth as butter. It's like, that does not happen with Skylanders, but uh, anyway, A-A-B-K, A-A-B-M, A-A-B-L. So, not sure what that is, but it doesn't say ABBA. Uh, one of my co-workers, so he's uh, in his ABBA mode, and it sucks for me. I mean, you can take a little ABBA here and there, but not not 24 7 man and then come september he hasn't done this in a while but uh, every september i think it was was when john denver's plane crashed uh he goes into like this tribute month and it's just like man i country roads can take me home but not for the entire month of september buddy uh so all that aside here we are we will start with let's put this in the background for you got a little something to look at uh this is the me brawler uh and the cool thing is some of you may look similar to uh a couple of these me's but uh i don't sadly but hey it is what it is so He's got the red and black theme here. Of course, black pants seem to be standard, but red is his color, and so it's coordinated with his boots. He's got the yellow gloves, which actually do a nice job contrasting. Down here, oh, the belt buckle says me. Love that little detail. That's pretty cool. Uh, the white here is not the best paint I've ever seen, but it does provide a big pop of color, so that's cool. Uh, spinning around, he's got the black hair. It's sort of quaffed over here, whatever quaffed means. Uh, that's about it, man. Again, this is the uh, Super Smash Bros. series, so it's got the black base, uh, the gold up top. Look how shiny that base is as well. Uh, flipping it around, we can see there uh, the Nintendo logo, the Amiibo logo, and it's made in China. So uh, we will set that down. Next up, we have got the Mii Gunner. They selected a chick for this one. And she's kind of got a Ghostbusters vibe to her, which is sort of cool. Uh, the boots are actually fantastic. This looks like something you would see in Mega Man. Uh, it's sort of got the turquoise with the dark navy and then sort of like the orangey gold accent, coupled with a silver protective plating there. Uh, gives a very good aesthetic. If we can get that to... I think you can see that. You can tell it's there. Um... There we go. See the me on the belt buckle? Awesome. She doesn't have that same awkward overlay to the extent of me brawler. The gun as well looks fantastic. It looks like there's a pack associated with it. One of the big reasons I didn't do more Super Smash Bros. I streamed it a lot on Twitch, but uh, it is not. It is still not as best I know. I haven't checked recently, but I assume if it got added, it'd be a big deal. One of the reasons you probably haven't seen much Super Smash Bros. on YouTube uh, that is not part of the Nintendo Content Creator program, so if you upload it, no one can monetize it. Uh, and then the biggest issue for me is, oh, the copyrights. <laughs> and like I've said, I'm fine, Nintendo, keep your money. But when you upload enough videos with enough copyright flags or copyright claims, then they get suspicious of everything you do. So I could go vloggity vlogging down the street with you. Uh, have face cam and birds chirping and then it's like hey prove you've got commercial use rights for this and your life turns into a nightmare and your daily or two videos a day or whatever you're trying to do uh, it just it becomes a freaking mess and you're just better off not messing with the videos so I still plan to do this when I have time but I will probably stream it I don't know if I will export it uh, but I, I've Throughout the history, uh, going back to Brawl on the Wii, it's been a ton of fun, countless hours invested in the game with my nephew. Uh, she's fairly, fairly stereotypical chick. I feel like I would see her Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Fit, uh, running around Woohoo Island, so uh, it's got a nice look. Uh, the gun, again, is fantastic. I love that the barrel was colored on the inside. Otherwise, it would just be super awkward. Uh, it fits over her hand, which is nice. Uh, she's got the black glove here. Almost looks like a Fitbit or smartwatch of some sort. Check that out, though. Uh, this clear pedestal actually combines with the black and makes it almost look silver in certain lights. I guess that's not doing a good job, but from here it sort of looks silver. Uh, overall, though, pretty cool amiibo. And keep in mind, at roughly $5 a piece, I'll take my chances here. Now, what is probably my favorite 
of this set is the Mi Sword Fighter. Uh, he's got sort of the you know defensive pose here. He's got his sword ready. Uh, he's about to block your attack and then slice you in half. Uh, I've had a, a person recently on the channel discussion. Remember when your channel comments was like the thing? That's how long I've been on YouTube. Uh, I guess I started one of Weezdom a little bit after. I think that like died out in 2010 because uh, YouTube made changes, but back in the day, 2010 and prior, man, the discussion, the thorough discussion about a YouTuber, their plans, their updates, uh, super fans, super trolls, everything in between, it wasn't on the videos, man, it was on the channel comments, uh, that has quelled <laughs> massively, uh, but I had somebody say, like, hey, you have Wii Sports Resort, and the answer is yes, uh, that's a game when I first switched over, when I got rid of the beloved Dazzle Pinnacle uh, and switched over to a better <laughs> capture device, that was the game that I intended to go with. I intended to start with Wii Sports Resort. Uh, I love that game. If this summer hadn't been such a crazy nightmare with work and stuff, I would have been playing that already. I'll tell you that. But it is coming at some point, so hopefully things slow down. We can wrap up Commander Keen, Hidden Folks, a couple of those titles, and jump in on that. Uh, I've got a lot of plans, I just don't have the free time necessary. As you may have guessed, he's got the meme belt buckle, which is so cool. Never in all the time that I saw these mentioned and showcased when they were new did anyone ever say there's a me belt buckle. So hey, uh, it's all about the details, man. He's got the DMs on his feet because they give him credit on the streets. Those literally look just like Doc Martens would uh, for a Nintendo me, I must say. Uh, again, Black Pants. Shout out to Black Pants. Subscribe if you have not. Uh, he's trying to get to 300 subscribers. But, uh, right here, we have got the glove. We've got the silver platelet, which is actually accurate uh, for someone that would be fencing, if you will. Uh, he's sort of got the chest plate here, uh, just I guess the scabbard for the sword. Uh, he has that same awkward orange transition at the base of the shirt, as did our brawler. Almost right there, with that crease, it looks like Homies here is wearing like this awkward sweater with a pocket slot, but we'll just assume it's a wrinkle. We'll give him credit since he does have a sword here. Uh, but spinning it around, he stands out for the very reason. He has blue eyes. This guy, black eyes. This chick, I, which it would have been cool if she had brown, but they went with black for reasons unknown to me. I think that's one of the reasons he pops better. Uh, it just complements his sh uh, shirt color uh, with the blue eyes. But hey... That's really that, man. There's not much more I can say, not much more detail, not any backstory or anything special. But what I am curious about, if you collect Amiibo, if you're a big uh, Super Smash Bros. fan, have you picked these up? If you have not picked them up, will you pick them up? At what price point would you say, hey, I, I can't pass this up anymore? For me, that turned out to be $14.99. That's what I got them for. I'm sure the sale will come back up if you monitor it closely. But again, this is just something I've wanted them since they were announced. I felt like they were exorbitantly too high. Waited it out. And my thing is, I don't know that I would ever see them like at $9.99. We go from $15, maybe we'd have $12.99, and then the next logical step is $9.99. I don't know if they'd ever do that. I think they'd almost just liquidate them out, uh, you know, $13 to $15 or so. And again, at $5 a piece, I don't think it's a bad deal. I do plan to use them, and I think they will be pretty cool in a collection. Plus, a huge selling point in the event of these three. They're the first ever Amiibos that are based on me characters, i.e. this isn't Kirby, this isn't Mario, it's not The Legend of Zelda. This is the me, the beloved me from the Nintendo Wii. Uh, so I thought that was cool. And because of that, I do think they will eventually... It may not happen for quite some time, but I mean, we're talking, you know... 15, 20 years down the line, maybe. I feel like people will be like, man, you know, do you, did you go to Daryl's house last night? He's got the me triple pack, you know? Uh, so I think at some point in time, these might appreciate, might uh, be recognized for being more rare. But I do, you know, I honestly can't remember because these, these have been out a while. But I want to say, are these exclusive to Toys R Us? I can't think of a time that I've seen them, you know, at a Target, a Best Buy, a Walmart, or a GameStop. Um, I, I could totally be wrong there. I'm not saying that's fact. I'm thinking I remember it being limited retailers. Um, 
But again, if you're interested in that, you can investigate. But Toys R Us is where I got them. I paid $15. I'm fine with that. Felt like it was a good deal. And uh, like I said, I do hope to use these. And uh, currently, the way things go, uh, I will probably be streaming. It will, in this case, probably be Mixer. Uh, if I stream this on YouTube, I get hit with all the copyright claims, and your life becomes a nightmare, particularly when you can't override it by way of the Nintendo Content Creator Program. So uh, any Smash Bros. action until they change things is probably just literally going to be just for fun, uh, just live stream that one point in time, and available i guess to rewatch on mixer if you missed it for a limited time type of a thing so it'll basically be literally just to have fun so that's what we're gonna roll with and we might utilize some of these me fighters to do so that said i hope you enjoyed uh again i am trying my best to locate robo and the lost imaginite mines and standard chompy mage and if i ever do rest assured uh whatever videos i have planned for that day will be canned and saved and we will go that route first but uh, as is just not having any luck <laughs> and uh like i said i don't if you can get a decent deal um which is retail and you know like you don't get gouged on shipping basically I have more and more of you that have been in the game for quite some time. Uh, a lot of people had Robo as one of their most anticipated, whether he would deliver or not. Uh, it still sucks to have to hold out that long. Uh, but I mean, this is mid-July, and so I think the fact that, you know, that stuff was available, and it hasn't really followed the same patterns as the other things that were available in Europe in terms of time intervals between when it launches there and when it should be here, uh, it's sort of gotten people in a bit of an uproar, a bit of a tizzy, and understandably so. But again, my logic is, hey, uh, I love Skylanders. I will pay retail or less for Skylanders. I won't pay a penny more. Uh, so I really, really want Lost Imaginite Mines. I'd love to have Robo. Chompy Mage is fantastic. He's one of the stand-up villains. That's why he's on that freaking calendar cover, for gosh sake. But uh, I'm not going to go and shell out. I can't. I can't. I literally don't have the ability to expend ridiculous amounts of money to get something that should cost $20. So uh, if it shows up over here, I will pick it up hopefully as soon as possible because it might be super rare or super limited for whatever reasons unknown to me. Uh, if PR sends it out fantastic, that would be just just Jim Dandy. And again, we'll unbox it immediately. Uh, but in the meantime... Um, I'll keep my eyes out. I'll stay vigilant. Uh, you know, of course, a lot of times when stuff drops, I'm not in stores all the time. I literally go like once every two weeks. That is not a lie. Uh, so a lot of times when Skylanders drop and people find them, I get DMs on Twitter, uh, emails, comments on YouTube, and that's sort of how I know. And then I'm like, whoop, gotta gotta take off from work and uh, get to GameStop before it closes. So. Uh, like I said, when it happens, it'll happen, and uh, I'll be here at the pool table to showcase it for you. But until then, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep what little money I have in my pocket because again, you don't make jack doing YouTube anymore. So, uh, nonetheless, I still enjoy it. That's why I'm still here. And uh, like I said, if you want us to get back, uh, me, my nephew, uh, the usual stream team folks that would play Super Smash Bros., let me know. It, it gets something that I would love to do weekly, uh, if not more regularly. But it's just kind of a headache with YouTube. Uh, well, really with their copyrights that come from Nintendo. Uh, so if I stream it on Mixer, I don't have to worry about that. Used to stream it on Twitch. Uh, I'm not a big fan of what Twitch has done lately. That's why I've sort of just stopped streaming there. And uh, you know the terms of service they always say users violate? They kind of violated my terms of service and uh, they can screw off. Plus they're owned by Amazon and they didn't ship Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to me as they guaranteed. Uh, and then they didn't handle it well after the fact. So uh, that said, you know all that stuff. Again, my apologies for just one video a day. Uh, like I said, I'm hopeful within like 7 to 10 days things are somewhat normal again. And we can hopefully get to two. So uh, that said, let me know your thoughts on this crew here. If you've got them, if you want them, if you could care less, if you're holding out for a lower price, uh, what stock is like in your area, if they are in fact limited to Toys R Us or they're available everywhere now, whatever it may be, let me know and I will catch in something else I'm curious. Would you pick up me amiibos like this for other games? Super Mario Odyssey, if they come out with a me amiibo. Is that something you would pick up? Would it have precedent over, say, uh, Wedding Suit Mario, Peach, and Bowser? Or would it be like the last item on your list? Uh, it could be 
because these are unique for that reason and it kind of makes them uh, an item of interest so that's it i'll quit rambling thanks for watching and we will catch you back here next time adios